Hello everyone, it's Sandra and welcome to today's video. It's been a while since I have rummaged through my everyday makeup drawer with you. So that's what we're gonna do today. I want to show you what is in my everyday makeup drawer. Things are really, really chaotic in there. So I'm also hoping to do a little clean up, a little edit. I'd like to do this on a seasonal basis. I basically like to just have a really well curated set of seasonally appropriate everyday makeup staples in my everyday makeup drawer, just stuff that I reach for consistently. And it's been a while since I've edited what's in here. I have just basically thrown in products as I've been using them and it's, it's in need of a dire refresh. Things are very chaotic in here. I have not been doing a good job at keeping this drawer organized. I'm just going to go through everything and edit it to just excellent spring favorites. So I'm going to take everything out and we're going to go through things category by category as we put them back in. Starting out with lip products, these are all the lip products I fished out of my everyday drawer and it could use a little bit of an edit. First off, we have these two Clarins lip oils. Now these are the old Clarins lip comfort oils and the exciting news is that Clarins has recently reformulated this product. I have been a fan of this product for years and years and years and I'm absolutely thrilled to be working with Clarins, show you the new shades and talk to you a bit about the new formula. So thank you so much to Clarins for sponsoring this portion of the video. I can't wait to tell you about the new lip oils. So. Here are the new ones. We're definitely going to be switching out the old and going in with the new. So first things first, the packaging is different. It's really beautiful. I find it really chic and elegant. It's a rounded bottle as opposed to the old square bottle. The, um, the branding is just embossed at the edge. There's no more printed writing on the actual bottle. The doe foot applicator is still that comfortable, large doe foot applicator. It is slightly curved, so it fits the natural shape of the lip really, really well. As far as the color selection goes, there are eight gorgeous shades. I have swatched them all for you. I did lip swatches on just my natural lips without any lip liner or lipstick underneath or anything so that you can see what the different shades look like on my lips. The formula has been improved and it's even more moisturizing. It contains nourishing oils like jojoba, hazelnut, and sweetbriar rose oil. They all have their own delicious scent and I honestly, I feel like they've improved the scent. This new formula just smells so much better to me. Not that the old ones smelled bad. The old ones smelled delicious too, but I don't know. I I'm liking I'm liking these new these new ones even better. The new formula feels a bit more lightweight than the old formula, but even more nourishing. I find that my lips stay moisturized for longer. They're so addictive and enjoyable to reapply throughout the day. I'm wearing the shade Strawberry today, just with a little bit of um, lip liner on the edge of my lips but this is the only color that I have on. Five of the eight shades do have some pH adjusting capabilities inside. So as you wear the formula, it will interact with the natural pH of your lips and tint your lips a beautiful shade of pink. My all time favorite shade in the old formula was the shade Candy and they do have that same shade available in the new formula, which I'm very excited about. It's the shade Pattaya. But as I've mentioned, I've also been really enjoying Strawberry. Pattaya is a cool toned pink. Strawberry is a little bit more of a warm toned pink. So if you're looking for a beautiful, new, nourishing, glossy lip oil to check out for spring and summer, definitely, definitely look into the Clarins lip oils. Now, I'm trying to be streamlined with my um, lip product edit here in my everyday makeup drawer, so I can't put all eight in there. So let's decide which ones will go in my everyday makeup drawer for, for spring. I think apricot will work really great with my peachy, peachy coral lipsticks. Pattaya, obviously. And then, like I said, strawberry. I've been digging strawberry lately too, so this will also go in my everyday makeup drawer. Now when it comes to lipsticks, so I had the um, Lisa Eldridge Velvet Intrigue, 
Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl, which is one of my Project Pan lipsticks. This Sephora Lip Click, which was discontinued, another one of my Project Pan lipsticks. This Armani Ecstasy, Ecstasy Shine lipstick, a Victoria Beckham lip stain, Tom Ford First Time Matte Lipstick, Glossier Clear Gloss, and a new Dior Addict lipstick in the shade 331 Mimi Rose. This is my newest lipstick purchase, and this is definitely going in the everyday makeup drawer. Um, I'm also going to keep Tom Ford First Time in my everyday makeup drawer because Again, I'm I'm really loving it. It's a really pretty peachy nude color. Obviously, my two Project Pan lipsticks will go back into the drawer because I'm trying to use them up this year. I think I think that's it. I think that's it for now. Maybe hmm, should I should I put this back in there? I do like this. This is a nice like more brownish nude option. I'll put this in there too. So I will have five lipstick options going back in the drawer. These will go back in the back cabinet with the rest of my makeup collection. All right, next up we have concealers and I have all my concealers in this little bin here, but it's, there's too much. There's too much going on. And when I'm overwhelmed with choice, I, I, I get stressed out. So I'm going to just edit this down because I really don't need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No normal person needs eight concealers in their everyday makeup drawer. My Sicily corrector is going to go back in there. This is something that I use daily. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I'm actually almost out of it. So I'm going to keep it in here so that I use it up. And then my Lancome concealers, my Tanti Doll Ultra Wear concealers. I have the shade 250, which is more yellow toned and 215, which is more neutral. And depending on where I'm concealing, whether it's under my eyes or brightening at the center of my face, I, I, can, I can use these two shades interchangeably. These work well under my eyes and on the rest of my face. And then for a blemish concealer, I'm going to put my NARS concealer in there. Just to keep things nice and streamlined. The rest, my Laura Mercier concealer, knock on wood, I haven't been breaking out as much lately, so I'm, I'm good storing this away for now. This NARS concealer is great. I have it in a lighter shade for some under eye brightening, but I'm not into the bright under eye look every time. It's not something that I do on a regular basis, so it's not something that needs to live in my everyday makeup drawer. Then uh, the Rose Ink Concealer and the Armani Power Fabric Concealer, I really like both of these, but like I mentioned, I need to just focus on using up some of this stuff and then I can switch things out as needed. All right, next, let's talk base products, primers and foundations. I have a lot. This definitely needs to be streamlined. I have my Makeup Forever Shine Primer, my Pat McGrath Foundation, my Makeup Forever Foundation, and uh, <laughs> like this is just, this is just absurd. My NARS Tinted Moisturizer, the Lisa Eldridge Foundation, Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation, my Auric Glow Lust, Trini London Skin Tint, Sicily Primer. It's too much. I'm going to just keep the Sicily Primer in my drawer because this kind of suits my current skin concerns and skin needs. I'm not that oily on a regular basis to be using the Makeup Forever Shine Control every day, so this can take a back seat. In terms of foundation, the Lisa Eldridge foundation is nice, but it's not like an everyday staple for me. I'm keeping the Auric Glow Lust in my everyday makeup drawer because this is something that I reach for on a regular basis. This is my go-to product for wearing under makeup when I want a more luminous finish. It's just beautiful. Sometimes I mix it in with my foundation. Sometimes I just apply it on my cheeks under foundation. You can also apply this over foundation. It's just a great multi-purpose glow product and it's one of my favorite highlighting products because it's really, really subtle and just really flattering on the skin. So definitely hanging on to this. In terms of foundation, I'm keeping the Trini London and the Pat McGrath foundations in my everyday makeup drawer because both of these are in my project pan. So I am trying to use them up. And then I'm also going to keep my Makeup Forever HD Skin in my makeup drawer because I love this so much. So this is like my current new foundation favorite. Hmm. 
much better. Moving on to cheek products. This is also overflowing. There's way too much going on. And oh, there's, there's some eyeshadow in here as well, as well as two more lipsticks. Shantikai Lip Chic in Honeysuckle and the new one called Freesia. I love Honeysuckle so much. It's one of my everyday My Lips But Better colors. Freesia is a little bit more, a little bit more nude. Mm, I'm only gonna keep one of them in my drawer and I'm gonna do Freesia. I talked about it more in my um, weekend makeup update video that I did. If you want to see it in action, it's just, just a good soft pinky nude. For cheek products, I have two cream bronzers. I have the Trini London Gaia and the Jouer bronzer stick. Um, definitely preferred the Jouer, so I'm going to put this. The Trini London is nice, but it's a bit more dewy and I'm not into that dewy look every day. The Jouer is just the perfect, perfect, perfect neutral bronze. I also have the Westman Atelier contour stick, which is gorgeous. I have the shade Biscuit and it's just the, the best, most flattering, soft contour shade. Then when it comes to bronzers, I have two bronzers here. Both of them are discontinued, rest in peace. The Marc Jacobs, which is matte, and the Becca, which has a sheen to it. So I'm kind of, uh, you know what though? The Jouer cream bronzer, the color is very similar to the Marc Jacobs one. So I'm going to stow the Marc Jacobs one away for now and just keep the Becca. Oh, this is an eyeshadow quad. It doesn't does not belong there. Then I have, Four blushes. I have the Pearl Beauty blush stick in the shade Girl Next Door. It's so pretty. I'm definitely keeping this in my everyday makeup drawer because I'm really into pink right now. I also have two Pat McGrath blushes, both Flirtatious and Nymphette, which they're both pink and I'm really into both of them. So I'm going to keep both of them in here because I love this formula. I'm still having a moment with it. So keeping both in here. I have two Burberry blushes. I have uh, Tangerine, which is a really pretty peachy shade. And then I have Earthy, which is nude. Earthy is more of like a contour shade. I like this more in the fall. So I'm going to keep Tangerine. And I also have this Giorgio Armani Daybreak blush this is a really pretty soft pink i'm having a pink moment so i want to have my current favorite pink blush options at the ready in my everyday makeup drawer and everything fits nicely in here in this bin these bins are from muji by the way it is so satisfying putting everything in the bins it's like playing makeup tetris Love it. I have two eyeshadow crayons in here. The Sicily Taupe shade, it's shade number 16, a really, really beautiful, cool toned, taupey brown, and then Eau Naturelle by Laura Mercier. I was really into these pencils and together they made such a beautiful look. I just started using a new vitamin C serum and I found that, I, I use my vitamin C serum everywhere, so I, I do take it under my eyes. And I found that this new vitamin C serum interacts with the pigment of this Sicily pencil and it makes it turn pink. Like, it's not a pink pencil. It's a dark, taupey brown, but I'm assuming since, you know, the vitamin C, vitamin C is an antioxidant, I'm assuming, you know, some of the pigments in here are, you know, oxides. So the vitamin C interacts and affects the color of the pigment and it just ma makes it turn like a pinkish orangey <laughs> shade. Like it's just not the same shade and it kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm going to have to store this. I'm gonna have to put this aside while I'm using my current vitamin C serum because they just don't jive well together. The color changes. This Laura Mercier caviar stick in the shade Eau Naturelle is pretty much an identical eyelid color for me. It really, really has the same shade like my skin but better and it just gives me a very very nice my eyelids but better no makeup makeup type of look so I'm hanging on to this I think it's really pretty my Lise Watier loafer eyeshadow I adore this this actually looks really really good with the Laura Mercier Au Naturel stick if I'm wearing the 
Laura Mercier Au Naturel all over the lid and I just want to add a tiny bit of dimension in the crease with this product. I'm going to put this warm brown MAC eyeshadow back, um, back, back in storage for now. Just, I just haven't been reaching for it in the last couple weeks. Chantecaille Giraffe Quad, adore this. This, I just love, I love the shimmery shades in this. I love these two brown shades. If I really want just a hint of sheen, if I'm wearing like Laura Mercier Au Naturel, for example, I could just use this frosty white and just really, really diffuse it and press it on to the lid for like a wet sheen type of look. The next single shadow that I have here is a dark brown. This is from Jones Road, and I like this. This is a really great eyeshadow to have in my everyday makeup drawer because it pairs really nicely with my darker brown eyeliners. So if I want to do a nice, soft, smoky wing or just a soft, smoky eyeliner look, this just works really nicely with a small pencil brush to diffuse it a, a bit. I should put these away just, just because I've just been reaching for them so much lately <laughs> and I feel like I need to switch it up. But these two together, this is one of my all time favorite combinations and can't stop, won't stop. It's just so easy. Chantecaille Sylvie all over the lid, Jones Road Golden Peach just in the center to give me a little bit of a gleam. This is just the easiest, best combination. And you know what? This is my everyday makeup drawer, okay? I'm going to keep these in my everyday makeup drawer because you know what, when I'm in a rush and I'm just, I can, I can put these on in my sleep. You know, there's zero thought involved. They look good with everything. I'm keeping these in my everyday makeup drawer. Um, I also have these two quads, Tom Ford Double Indemnity, which is really beautiful and also cool toned. And then I have this NARS Mojave quad. This was sent to me in PR and I, I haven't made up my mind yet on how I feel about this. I think I'm going to keep this just because the color story is more in line with what I do on an everyday basis. And I'll keep testing this. And um, I still love this. I think it's such an interesting color story, but this is not an everyday quad for me. This, I have to be in the mood to do something with these tones. When it comes to eyeshadow, I try not to stack things. I try to keep them all in a single row because that way I can see what I have and this is it. This is so much better than what we started with, don't you think? So we have our Clarins lip oils, our lipsticks, eyeshadows, concealers, primers and foundations, cheek products. Very, very happy with this. All right, I feel so much better about the state of my everyday makeup drawer. I hope you like the little tour and I just feel so much more at peace. Everything's so much better and nicely streamlined. Things just get chaotic in that drawer if I don't stay on top of it. And it had been a few months of just stuff just accumulating, you know what I mean? So hopefully that inspires you to uh, play with your own makeup and maybe shuffle some things around in your own everyday makeup rotation. I'm going to be reapplying some Clarins lip oil. Will strawberry be my new favorite? Mmm, smells so good. They all have slightly different fruity scents, but if you have experienced this new formula, let me know what you think. If you were a fan of the old formula and you're afraid, you know, sometimes reformulation can be a little bit scary, I suggest giving them a try. Um, the shades are really beautiful and I find them more nourishing and I find them so much more pleasant to reapply throughout the day because the formula is more lightweight. It's not as thick. You can shop all eight new shades on clarins.com. I will have a link in the description box. If you do end up trying them, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.